Hello, hello! So, it's beginning to look and feel a lot like Christmas here in Puebla, Mexico. We just drove past the big Christmas tree that's put up in the center of San Pedro Cholula. And Santa Claus is sitting in Galeria Serran taking pictures. And some of our neighbors are putting up their Christmas lights. And so we decided that it's time for us to start preparing our little home for Christmas. So we are going to spend the holidays here in Puebla. And so the kids, of course, number one importance was to find our Christmas tree. So that was our first adventure. So we are out and about looking for a Christmas tree. And our first stop was a fail. Where are we, Lincoln? Do you know? Um, uh... Um, uh, I forget the name. Constance, where are we? Home Depot. Yeah, we're at Home Depot and they didn't have any Christmas trees. This is where we bought it last year. And honestly, actually, I think we bought it even earlier than December 1st. And we can't find a tree, so we're going to head off to another spot. Well, maybe we could go at the, at the trees um, out of town and then get one. You want to cut down a tree? How about one of those? Look. Should we cut one of those trees? No. We are driving along in Angelopolis and we found on the side of the road like a huge tent full of Christmas trees. But we don't know how to get there. So we're, we're driving around out. and around and around until we can actually get into the place and get our Christmas tree. That's right. All right, guys. Which one do we want? You can use the grandota. Should we put that huge one? No. <laughs> no. Okay, walk no. around, guys. Tell me when one just stands out as the perfect tree. The biggest. Yeah. <laughs> Lincoln just barely saw that mess. Yep, they are. Look, he wraps yeah, it up nicely for us. And then we wrap it at the house. And then we'll the put house. it in some plastic and we'll put it on the car. We did get to choose a beautiful, nearly perfect in my mind, Christmas tree. And it was time for decorating. So we brought out our ornaments that we purchased last year. And last year we made a short trip to a city that's here in Puebla, but it's I don't know, two and a half, three hours away. It's called Chignahuapan, and it's known for having Chignahuapan, not Chignahuapan. It's called Chignahuapan, and it's known for having Christmas decorations, I think, nearly year round being sold. So we went there, and they had so many options of Christmas decorations, Christmas lights, as well as um, containers of ornaments. So we made our purchase last year. And the ornaments that we chose were made out of glass, they're crystal. So I thought, no big deal. We can teach our kids not to touch them. Teaching Amelia, who's just a year and a half old, has been trickier than I thought. Um, so we've already had several broken ornaments, um, but we will see how many make it through this Christmas season. We're making them with paper clips because we don't have any. This is called ingenuity. Can you say that word? Ingenuity. Ingenuity. Very good. Oh, she's hanging the first one. Oh, she's hanging the first one? On the tree. Yeah, I guess that was Japanese. Put it further in, Constance. It, it's too heavy. Okay, Lee. Better come down here. We'll fix it down here, brother. Um, right along with decorating the Christmas tree, we pulled out the stockings from last year and we were able to hang them up on our wall since we don't have a fireplace. And we last year I purchased six of these stockings for some reason and decorated five for our family. And so the kids keep asking what the final stocking is for. And honestly, I'm thinking probably for a future fish. Maybe. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow.
let us go, let us go, let us go. The next stop was to go and get a few more decorations for our home in the little town of Atlisco. And it's about an hour from our house. And Atlisco is known for its flowers. So during this season, it is covered in poinsettias. It's beautiful and actually extremely busy. There's lots and lots and lots of people coming on the weekends to make their purchases. So we went to a poinsettia farm and were able to choose several for our home for decorations as well as many that we purchased to be able to gift to some friends. And they are beautiful and they add so much of the Christmas spirit to our house. If you wanna to continue to see all of the Christmas festivities as we get ready, um, we still have lights to put up outside and a few more decorations to put up. But follow us on Instagram at, at Mommy Perms and at Los Perms because that's in our stories. That's where you can see a lot of the daily updates. And we're really excited to keep exploring all that Puebla has to offer as we get ready for the holiday season. Bye.